and welcome along and welcome back to uh, Marwa Manor Farm where today uh, it is the second day of autumn uh, and we're heading back up to field 18 uh, with our class tractor here. Uh, we're just going to set this, hopefully we've got our course recorded. Car, uh, field 18 karting, there we go. So we'll grab that, load that up. Uh, grab the right combine, which is our Lexian, and get that going. So start course. There we go. So that is uh, that should now be waiting for uh, fill level to be reached, which I think it is. Yeah, that is. Right, and we're going to jump in our combine here. Start her up. And just finish off the last of the canola we have here. So the last canola we have from last time. Uh, there's probably about a third of the field left. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's not a huge amount. Now, I'm hoping... No, our track is not done there. So what we'll do, in order to uh, redefine our GPS course, we're going to cut this edge of the field here. So start it up and in we go. And uh, as we said last time, we have uh, we had a lot of canola that we got. I think we're in the, somewhere in the uh, and we're somewhere in the hundred thousand uh, liters mark. Actually, let's have a quick look. Uh, canola, yeah, wow, we have a hundred and forty three thousand liters of canola, which is amazing. So we're gonna set our GPS. There we go. First point on the GPS is set. Uh, and we're just going to drive along here a little bit and get the second point set. I'm going to talk about uh, setting up GPS in general on here. So uh, that should do it. That gives us a nice straight run uh, along here. I think it might be slightly different to the previous one by the looks of it. Um, but otherwise is pretty okay. So we're, we'll run with that for now. And uh, and then, yeah, let's put that on, on here. And uh, we'll have a look at this. So auto width it and set it up there. Show lines is off. And the thing you can do with GPS now is save a GPS course. So you've got the AB set up and, and things like that. But this is the thing. So you could set up a track name and you can... You can actually go and move it 90 degrees and save it and, and everything, which is brilliant. Now, you can see how far off our track we actually were. And I'm, at, I'm not happy with that at all. So, I'm going to reverse this up. And, uh, and try and redo that, I think. Because that is uh, that is a fairly rubbish course. So I'm going to cut in here like this. We'll have a little bit to clean up, but that should be fine. And I'm going to reset to go at that angle this time. And we'll just pay a little bit more attention to the side of our crop. And try and make sure that we stay on the side of the crop uh, for the distance. Again, we don't have to go too far to set this up. Just far enough to, to get the right angle and the, and the right sort of uh, direction on it. Set that. Go again. And, uh, and that should do it. Yeah, that seems to be running rather nicely along the side there. Uh, so that that works well, and no, in fact, that is still heading out on that other angle. Never mind, uh, <laughs> that is just the way of it. It would appear, like so. Right, so uh, that's that set up. Uh, a little bit funny to start with, but all good anyway. We're going to cut in again. We're already thirty-four percent full. Our line is a little bit of a long way round. Yep. And in we go. Uh, and it looks like we're only two rows, but that's okay. 
so uh, yeah, we're going to continue on here and uh, and see what happens. Uh, see how far we go before we fall. I th I don't think we're going to get very far, to be honest. I think we're going to finish this cutting, turn around, come back, and probably need to unload. So uh, yeah, let's see how we do. So we're coming to the end of uh, of our cutting, and our tractor is trying to reach us at the moment because we are sixty nine percent full. I'm gonna go there and down, and that is coming nicely. He is he is going through the crop, of course he is. It's course play. Course play does not play by the rules. Uh, right, we want to get our auger out. And uh, and get that emptied. Um, pretty good that this because this tractor takes two uh, two and a half uh, trailer loads. Um, that is a actually brilliant. That is absolutely wonderful. That already we're emptying into the tractor. Uh, it it bodes well for how much more canola we should get off here. Uh, we may even get. We're going to get within a stone's throw of 200,000 litres on here, which is 200,000 pounds. Um, and, and especially at the best price of canola, it's more than 200,000 pounds. And considering the money we want to raise to uh, to get our Zerion on here, we should be in a really, really good place uh, post-harvest to be able to do that. Probably means we're going to have to do some work with our... Our 800 series before then, um, uh, and and work these fields maybe a little bit before then. But having said that, if we are able to, we may be able to borrow some money uh, in order to get the new tractor we want, and then pay it back when we get into the winter. And if we have a look, how much money do we owe at the moment? We owe 395,000. We, we have enough land to borrow that extra amount of cash. Um, I'm not sure if it's the wisest thing to do, though. So, uh, yeah, we will see. I, we we want to make some changes later in the year anyway. So, it, it's all good. We are we are, uh, we are all doing well. Uh, but, yeah, it may be a case of getting that Zerion um, earlier than, uh, than we have the money. And, uh, and then moving on from there. And making sure that we are in good stead. We're 13% full again. Which is good news. We want to set our course. And hopefully not miss any. We shouldn't because we are running on uh, GPS. We will miss a bit in the middle of course. Because we were our course was a little bit off. Um, but uh, otherwise this will be fine. Uh, so yeah, let's go round again and fill her up again and uh, and go from there. So at the end of that row, and as you saw from the aerial shot um, there. We need to uh, we need to get this strip in, which is actually quite good. It's 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 good for us to uh, to clear this up, allow us to cut back in on the other end. Uh, and if we actually again, if we go and have a look at the aerial, we might be able to uh, to cut up the middle of that, uh, the middle of what we've got left, and uh, and then just sort of work our way out of that. Uh, we are at half full on here. So we we are going to get at least another uh, another sort of 70-80% tank off here. Whether we will then have enough left over to fill the trailer, I don't know. It's uh, it's going to be a close one, I think. I think we are actually I uh, I I think it's hard, it's definitely hard to predict. Although normally when I predict these things, uh, I normally end up overestimating how much we have. So, uh, yeah, we shall see, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, we're going we're gonna to end up with about 55% uh, once we've finished cutting this bit, I think. Maybe not. I Maybe actually close to 53%. Um, 
which is a good amount. It's uh, it's nice amount to go with. Uh, it hasn't quite ticked over to 53%, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll head down here and uh, we will try and cut into the middle of this as much as we can. It's uh, it's quite a, it actually is quite a wide bit, but then we have a nice wide header on the combine. So in on this. Don't know where our line is. Actually, our line we're pretty good on our line, I think. Not doing too much correcting. And away we go. Absolutely brilliant. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's get this cut in. And uh, and see where we go from here. I think the tractor's going to try and join us. Uh, while we're doing the cutting. Which would be unfortunate. Because, uh, obviously, it can't. So, uh, yeah. We'll see how it does. Our tractor is empty, or our, yeah, our combine is being emptied into the tractor again. I think we've got about two or three more uh, rows to go here. So, yeah, we're pretty good. Our Axion, yeah, so it's 76% full. We have a really good possibility here of filling that. Um, I think we have about 12,000 uh, litres available in that. Uh, so if that's the case, we may end up uh, filling this trailer, which would be absolutely brilliant. I'd be really, really pleased with that. Um, but we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, no, it would be it would be it would be absolutely excellent to get another forty six thousand liters off this field. Um, doing that would would really really uh, set us up um, very very well. And mean that we go into uh, year two. We go into year two on here in a much better position as a result. Which we'll be quite happy about. Um, and just thinking and looking ahead at this point. Uh, so we'll have this field finished today. Um, should be uh, should be pretty good for us. Uh, for the next day, uh, we're pretty good actually up until the end of the next game day. So the Sunday is going to be dry the Monday is not. So, what we're going to have... And actually, if we look at this, uh, we then have two dry days. So, we've got a bit of a, a, a conundrum here. It's, uh, it's do I hang on and wait for that rainy day to pass and hope that the wheat dries out quickly enough for us to be able to then do um, the wheat field over two days and to get the... Uh, to get the straw over those two days um, or do we cut the wheat field at the next game day and hope we can get through it quickly enough to uh, to do that personally I'm thinking our better bet would maybe be to do some grass or something like that um, and uh, and see if we can get that collected up but it's it's all a little bit I'm not sure or maybe just prepare this field let us know in the comments which do you think we should do. Should we, should we try and get the wheat cut and baled and collected in a single day? Which is a lot of work to do, to be honest. Or should we hold off until after the rain um, and, uh, and, and then take stock then and see how quickly uh, it should dry out? Uh, of course, the further we go forward, the, uh, the more... Uh, the more variability there is in that uh, forecast. So it may be that we get into the next game day and discover that, that we're going to be clear um, the one after. So I think we'll, we'll have to have a look at that. But I'm interested in, in knowing what, based on our current uh, weather forecast, we should do. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued as to where you guys, where your thoughts would be on that. Um we are doing well. We have got another 8,000 litres in here. 
So, uh, yeah, we're going to keep going uh, until we empty into our tractor again. And I think we're going to, I think we're going to be having at least another full trailer off here and probably more as a result, which would be absolutely fantastic. Tractor is coming up beside us again. Uh, we are over. Well, we're well over my target. Uh, we are definitely going to have a full trailer off this. Um, absolutely brilliant. There it comes. And there it empties again. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just watch this go up and, uh, and do this. So, we should have over 50,000 litres off this, uh, of what we're cutting today. Um, which will be absolutely... <laughs> well, absolutely perfect for us. Really, really happy. Really wish we could crack on with field 15, but it's not quite right yet. Uh, if we have a quick look, uh, actually. Yeah. All right, he's heading off, so that's good. Uh, that must have finished while we were in here. So I'm going to get to the end here and just lift this quickly. Uh, and, uh, and have a look, because field 15... As you can see, is not quite ready, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go and cut this last little bit here. We've got at least, yeah, we've got 5,000. We're going to have more than that uh, at the end. So that is good news. Uh, let's get this little strip in. And, uh, and then we will come back and sort things. And, uh, yeah, get the last little bit emptied. widening a little bit as we get towards the bottom of the field so at this point i'm going to reactivate the gps should get us back on the course i'm actually quite pleased with our um with the the first bit we did the first line we did uh we ended up not having a massive amount that was missing i mean there was there was a, a wedge that we ended up with at the top end of the field that gave us a bit extra but it wasn't it wasn't an incredibly huge bit which is uh, which is quite cool. Uh, got a little bit left along the edge here, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to request driver so that uh, our tractor should head down to us at the bottom end of the field, or at least start tracking with us towards the top. Uh, we're then going to park this uh, up at the top corner near the corner of field 15. So, uh, lift and off with the thrusher. Where is our tractor? Here it comes. So that then can empty with us on the way back. Because it's quite a long field. And all we need to do is really drive back across the field. And, uh, and have that empty as we do. There it is. Coming towards us. At the back there. Uh, and yeah, so we've got another 7,500 uh, litres off here. That should be, once this has been tipped, 200,000 litres. Uh, which will be uh, absolutely brilliant. I don't quite know where our tractor has gone. Other than right down the bottom end of the field when we're heading up here. Let's see if it's coming back. Uh, it is. It is on the way back. We'll be up at this top corner ready for it when it does. Uh, and yeah, field 15 looking very, very neat. 
looking actually looking great both this field and field 15 have not had any issues uh in so far as lost crop or or, or damaged crop or anything like that um been really really good from that point of view here comes our other tractor so we are just going to pull this up here drop that and we'll go across to this and we'll just stop this from course play and take control of this tractor ourselves uh, so that we can just uh, get this last little bit off and uh, and and do it but as I, that's gone massively well really has i'm um i'm really really pleased with the amount of canola we got this field off this field considering this is the first time we've harvested this field um and we're, we're looking at having over two hundred thousand liters off it uh is really really brilliant um gonna be interesting of what crop because we have got we we haven't really got a rotation set up yet um so it's going to be interesting to see which crop uh, we want to put on here next. Uh, in order for next year, in order to maximize uh, what we can make of it. Ideally, we want something that we can uh, harvest with that combine. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that uh, and go through that. I think it's probably going to be wheat or barley or, or something like that. Which the downside of that, of course, is we weren't going to want to make bales. We are going to need an auto-loading bale trailer off here, I think. Because uh, we are just we are in a position with the baler where we need it, so I think that's going to have to come out of the money next year. I really wanted to buy another field though, which is uh, which is the other thing. But we'll see where we go. Let's tip this, and uh, and yeah, that is where I think for today's video we're going to end it. We've finished off field eighteen. Uh, we will look at what we can do on it next uh, next time. Uh, for now, though. All that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Pharma, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.